What's up, YouTube? I want to make a video about some vape mail I got. I got to try to make this video long because I kind of got a lot of stuff to talk about. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. I got the Tornado RCS kit. And you bring in the box of the Evic. You see, Evic's box. Tornado RCS kit box. This box is bigger. It is a bigger box. Now, the reason why I'm talking about the size of the box because when you open it up, all that's inside is this little bitty battery, a little bitty tank. Pull this out, a little bitty instruction book, two little bitty heads. Your little bitty box that the battery comes in. This kind of little box that the USB cable is just wrapped up in, folded in half, a tough stuck up in there. And then this big box holds your Toilet totally Wicked branded wall adapter. And that's a big ass box for wall adapter. I don't care where you're from. So that's why the box is so big. Because they put all these things in big, huge boxes. Let me just go ahead and stick all this stuff back up in here. Now I want to try to get this video done as fast as I can. So I don't want to be goofing around that much. Assemble the unit real quick. There's a couple things I want to talk about that I found out about this unit after I bought it that I'm really happy about. One, um, when I watched the videos of this EVIC, I mean not the EVIC, the Tornado RCS, it, um, I didn't really watch that many videos on the tank, but I basically tried to look for videos on the unit itself, I couldn't really find any except for the one that Totally Wicked uploaded. Well, I like that this drift tip comes off. I like that. And the other thing that I really, really like about it, that I was praying on, it's ego cone threaded. So if you have like an ego that has a iClear 16 on it, it does fit on this and it works. You get good airflow. I love that I can use, you know, iClears and Visions and, you know, whatever you have that's a cone shape that'll fit on here. Um, I'll break it down real quick. You got the control head, the button, the mini USB that I mentioned, the Eagle threading, the battery tube, unscrew the end cap, and inside is what the website says the industry first 16650 2100 mile battery. That's a good battery. Get a lot of big time off this battery. This battery, I haven't fully charged it and I use it for hours and hours. It don't even turn light blue when it gets below 50%. So I never had this battery below 50% and only charge it for a little bit of time. Um, if you're familiar with the EVIC and you know what the EVIC smart head is, it's the same exact thing that this is this control head just a whole lot smaller yeah, this, whole lot this thing is a little bit bigger round not by much just a little bit bigger round than a 16650 battery so if you had a 16650 battery in your hand that's how big around this tube is okay you got the tank unscrew the bottom fill your juice up in there you got your control head it just pops in and out Screw it on. Interchangeable drip tips. I like that. I'll go ahead and put that back in the box because I'm not going to be using that tank. Because when I ordered this, ordered this, ordered a green King Kong drip tip because I broke mine before, so I really wanted another one. And I ordered an Ego Cone adapter because I broke mine and I need another one. And then um, my second order I ordered from them 
I got the green RCS tank, the green RCS tank mini, a RB1 rebuildable tank, and two extra heads that are 1.8 ohms. Let me go ahead and open this up. Show you the tank. It's a dark green tank. Take off the drip tip because I won't be using it. Both of these heads are 2.4 ohms, so I guess the heads that come with this and the tanks and everything, they're 2.4 ohms. Since I got three that came with this, three that came in a kit, and three that came with this, I ordered two extra ones that are 1.8 ohms. So I got nine 2.4s and two 1.8s, which is 11 heads. I got my green drip tip. I had to put some thread on it because it was a little bit loose. And I don't really like a loose drip tip. I was scared it's going to fall off and I'll lose it. So I swear. Let's wrap that around real quick. Just get on there for the sake of this video. Screw it on. my triangle kit. The better unit, and voila! I love the way it looks. Compare it to the Evic with the Vivi Nova. It's smaller, a little bit. 3.5 ohm tank. Let's go ahead and take a hit. Oh yeah! When I took the battery out, put the battery back in, the light shows up light blue. If I take it and plug the USB cable in. This one of these cables longer than the other. Yeah, about six, five. Plug this in. Now I think since this is meant to be used as a pass-through that you're not supposed to be taking a battery in and out. When I plug this in, when it's charging the light is like a dull red, but when it's fully charged it's like a bright red. So this is like fully charged. When I hit the button it's back to lighten up white to indicate that it's fully charged. So, I just want to show you that real quick. Let's take a two. That's at the 3.4 volts unregulated. I love this. Good flavor, good vapor, good airflow. Now let's hurry up and try to get this out of the way. I got the mini. Comes with a lighter green tank. Oh yeah, and the Totally Wicked Devil logo and the Totally Wicked written on the back on this is bigger than on the clear tank that came in the kit. So for some reason, you know, the Totally Wicked Devil is bigger on the green tank than it is on the clear one and even bigger on this one so it's bigger on this you can fit this on here that works this mini is made to fit on an ego I just bought it because it's green and I wanted it if you take the drip tip off you see how it gets it's concave shape at the top that's built into the drip tip so if you take a regular drip tip and stick it on it has a flat top right there. So that's the only thing about it. But you can change the drip tip on it. That's, that's cool. Okay. Um, as far as comparing it to the Evic, I mean, yeah, the Evic has all the bells and whistles, but for just a device that you want to use at 3.4 ohms. I mean 3.4 volts or you want to use it as unregulated 4.2 or whatever charge the battery has it works good with the um mini nova good airflow um, this juice really ain't the best for vapor But it 
works good. So this would be my good going out e-cig that I'll take with me. And I like the way it looks with the green tank and green dripper. The EVIC and Lava 2 would be something that I would use when I'm at home. Now, I got the RB Rebuildable. No point showing you the box. It also came with this. And inside there is a little bottle with a needle that you use to fill the tank. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just go ahead and show you. I got my map tank on here right now with an extra Ego adapter on here so I get better airflow to lava tube. That's a four volts. I need to clean this, it's a little dirty. But this is the RB1 rebuildable. You cannot take off the drip tip that's built onto the device. So take it on. Let's take a puff it. Four bolts. So this thing's registering at 3.3 ohms right now. When I first got it, I forgot what it was, but then it jumped up like 4.1, 4.0, 3.9, 4.0. Now it's at 3.3. .3. So I've just been vaping it at four bolts. not the best tank in the world. I crank it up to 5 volts. It does do this. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Produces a lot of vapor. So yeah, that's the RB1 rebuildable. And if I take it off of here, And screw it on the uh -oh. tornado RCS kit. It looks pretty nice on there too. It's an all right tank. Do my dad four volts for later. So yeah, the tornado RCS kit and the green tank and the green mini tank and the RB1 and the Eco Cone adapters and the King Kong drip tip and everything I ordered from Totally Wicked. I'm very happy with this bait mail. I love the way this looks. I love the way it performs. I love the airflow, the flavor, the vapor, the throat hit. I go unregulated. And I love that it's a pass through because I love pass through devices. So right now it's at unregulated 4.2, battery fully charged. Take works good. Well, there's nothing bad I could say about this battery or about the device or about the tank or about anything. I have been using this head for about two, three days now, so it is a little dirty. Um, I'm going to try to rebuild them later. The only bad thing I could say about my order is this for $22.99. And not worth twenty two nine nine. Totally not worth it. This worth it. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. You see?